So uh, what am I looking for today? I'm really just exploring really. I maybe uh, would like to get some uh, decent shots, some decent camera shot. There's no real set plan, but uh, whatever happens, I think I'm going to have an awesome dive. First bit of diving is getting the suit on. I'm just uh, a coward. I hate the cold water. In we go. There, I see a crab straight away. Oh, poor thing, he's only got one claw. He's been fighting. Leave him, let him go. Poor thing. And there is a huge cod hiding behind the weeds. Look how camouflaged he is. Very difficult to see. Wonderful. And the lobster, woohoo! Now when I see a lobster, rats always come around and have a look. They're so nosy. And these are blue rats. They're the male fish. They're coming down to have a look at this thing as he's hiding in his hole. And there he is. Dead easy for me to get if I wanted to. Oh, a crab hiding in the sand. Burying himself in the sand. A huge thing, this one. Just look at the size of these claws. Look at that beauty, huh? Well, we've had a lovely day. Lisa's making food in the boat. And I'm just gonna go and show you where I dived. It wasn't the best of places because it, it was just too shallow here. I dived all the way along. There's a cliff here, all the way around this peninsula. I went right round to the other side and in the next bay and uh, I saw just a few crabs and I saw a very large crab which I filmed for you guys to have a look at and then swam all the way back I was, I was more than I was, I was more than an hour underwater I got back about there and I saw a very large cod I went, creeped slowly towards it filming it was about a metre long and I filmed its head because the rest of the body was hidden in the weeds. It was an awesome piece of bit of luck I had there to see that beautiful fish. I had my spear with me, I could have easily speared it, but I didn't want to. He, uh, he looked to touch on the thin side. I thought, no, I'm going to just let him live. And that diving equipment that I've got, it's got no bubbles that come out of it. So, it doesn't frighten, they don't frighten the fish. If you've got bubbles coming out of your diving equipment, they frighten the fish, you can't get near them. With this, it's recirculated, so there's no bubbles coming up. It goes through a filter, and I can get really close to the fish without scaring them. And this illustrates how close you can actually get to these fish. Well, Molly and I are out in the dinghy. She's looking at her mother. He's looking at Mama. 
<laughs> There's Lisa, chilling out. We've had a gorgeous day. My wife has been snorkeling as well, so I'm going to go on the boat and see how dinner's getting up. It's getting so hot on landing. My God, look at it. Unbelievable, it's so glassy. Let's go in and see what we're having. Monkfish and tomato sauce and mackerel caught yesterday. And some potatoes. And some potatoes dug up yesterday. Yeah, hungry man waiting for his dinner. Look at this. It's monkfish in tomato puree with lovely new potatoes. Look how beautiful that looks. Now, let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Monkfish. It's very firm meat. As you can see, look, beautiful and white. And it tastes like lobster. I'm going to put a bit of tomatoes on it. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Well, that is nice. Mm. Very nice. Tastes like lobster. Mm. Oh, look at Molly. She's scrounging food off me. I think she likes monkfish. Well, I certainly do. I'm sure she does. Oh, this is a lie. Yes. Ah, oh, look at this, huh? Isn't that awful? Whenever I see any rubbish, I pick it up and take it home with me. Hope you've enjoyed some of the videos please subscribe you must subscribe and press thumbs up that you like us not thumbs down but thumbs up so we're happy molly's happy lisa's happy we've all eaten a fantastic meal and we're gonna pack up and go home thank you for watching again bye